So we're here with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to a Chippenham game on Saturday at Woodside Road. What are your thoughts going into it? Yeah, nice, nice to be back um, playing at home again um, after a couple of um, tricky away games and, and fair old journey that we've had to make. Um, yeah, to be back home in front of our home fans is, is, is massive and really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, the, the game's come thick and fast in this league. There's no easy test and um, yeah, we need to make sure that we're improved on our performance, especially the first 25 minutes or so from Tuesday night and um, try and um, you know, start this game really well again. It was a challenging first 25 in that Weymouth game, but I mean, 3-0 win in the end of it. So came away from that and I think the team looked significantly better in the second half. Uh, what lessons have been learnt from that game and what from that would you like to take into Saturday? I think the main thing, especially first half, was just us in possession. We was all a bit sloppy and it was uh, a bit contagious, I thought. Um, you know, not just the players that are uh, coming back and getting their first minutes of the season, but they obviously took a while to get going. Um, it was a frantic start, they pressed us really well. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, us in possession, especially too many too many of us just unopposed we was giving the ball away and it was a bit sloppy a bit careless and um i think that's like a, a mental fatigue sort of state maybe that we was in um for whatever reason um so definitely try and get that out of our system and um get back to how we play and, and moving the ball around um a lot better um phil we've we done that at times second half and even at times first half we got into good positions but then maybe the last ball wasn't quite there um, but yeah, just trying to get it all to, to come together and just all, all click for, for Saturday. It was quite a heavily rotated team in the end. Um, Danny Barker and, and Dan Bowery, they both haven't started games yet this season. Uh, well, among others actually. Um, so with them, the minutes they got from that game, how are they looking going into Saturday and do you think they could be involved? No, yeah, we've got, got to look at that obviously. Um, both of them missed heavy, large chunks of, of pre-season for us. Um, so, you know, to come back into a game like that, Dan Bowery, obviously 90 minutes, um, his first 90 minutes for us at a, a really frantic pace on, on Tuesday. So, yeah, we've got to assess the lads today, especially with Danny Barker as well. He's, he's missed a lot of football um, over the last three seasons with his hamstring. So we've got to be really sort of ultra cautious with that one um, and see how he's he's reacted. Um, but, yeah, what we, what we want is um, everyone to be... Uh, a fully fit squad and then to have you know good good numbers going in heading into next weekend um, obviously with the two games. What sort of steps do you think has been made? It's been like you said the games come really quick and fast um, and it doesn't really get any quicker than three games in a week so looking ahead to Saturday do you think the players have gotten used to that a little bit? Do they feel a bit sharper coming out of this or has it been a little bit tough for them going through these, these three games? Yeah I think um, it's our first Saturday, Tuesday uh, game uh, this season. Um, there'll be more of that to come, and to have it such an early sort of time of the season as well, um, it will will take a lot out of a lot of numbers as well. And so I think you'll see in the next three games um, a lot of players rotated and used um, throughout the course of that. Um, we're going to have to do that. Um, but yeah, like I say, we just assess everyone today, see how they all are, and um, hoping to have a nice, nice, fit enough squad to, to pick from um, come Saturday. Uh, won't look any further ahead than that game. It's going to be a real challenge again. Um, hopefully, a bit cooler in, in terms of the weather than you know the Welling game. Mm. That was uh, some extreme heat there. Um, but yeah, it's all stuff that we've got to deal with. Um, you know, we want to be at this level and competing at this level week in, week out. Um, so to do that, we need players that are going to, um, you know, we need to need to play at a high tempo. So we need players that are fully fit and ready to go for that. You couldn't have gone much better though, uh, especially as the first time that we've had to deal with that. Um, you know, two games, two wins. I think we'd have all beaten a hand off for that, uh, given the opportunity. So. Looking back on this run of games, and I suppose it's not finished yet, but you must be happy with how this has gone. Yeah, it's just lots, of, lots of us to, to learn and take from it. Really, um, in in each of the games, um, thought we played some excellent stuff in the first game at Dover. Uh, here, only only got a point on the day, but you know we created lots of chances, played some really good football. Um, 
and then like moving forwards, it, a real challenging test, and um, you know I think it's helped in each of the games to, to score the first goal. Um, obviously, I like to think that I'd love us to do that throughout the course of the season, but it's not going to happen. So that's another challenge in itself. You know, another team scoring the first goal, or if we come in nil nil at half time, there's all different challenges yet that, that need to happen. And um, yeah, we're still very much sort of finding our feet and. Um, I'm sure the players are as well, and uh, us as a collective group um, of of the level. But it's a fantastic level to play at. You know, you've mentally got to be on your game, and you know, me as a manager, as a coaching staff, and um, you know, as as players, we need to to be at it every game. And this Saturday, will be no different. And it's got to be good as well. This Saturday, it's uh, well two away trips on the bounce. Talk about that that sweltering heat you're well in. A long journey on a Tuesday night at Weymouth, obviously. Those results couldn't have gone any better, but they were very tough tests. So, coming into Saturday, at home in front of the fans again, that's got to be really good to come back to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. On the back of getting two um, wins as well, and you know, it's only three games in, but you know, our league position. Hopefully, that will bring a few more fans down to have a little look at what we're about, and you know, that's the type of games that these players got to aspire to play 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 to in front of a big home crowd here really getting behind us and um, you know it's the, the games we've got to look forward to and I know I do as, as a manager I look forward to them ones and um, you know the players have got to do that as well so yeah it'd be, it'd be a great great encounter um, not say back at home back in front of our home fans we really want to um, show what we're about and um, you know play on the front foot straight away and uh, looking at uh, Saturday's opponents, Shippenham, um, is there anything about them you might be able to tell people? Obviously, yeah, we're in a new league, so most people don't really know about the teams. Is there anything you might be able to fill us in and what you may be expecting out of them? Yeah, I don't think um, it'd be too dissimilar to, to, to what you're seeing. Um, you know, big, big, big physical side, um, you know, but uh, it's, it's a weird one where they've had their game sort of. Um, Cut short early with, with the lads, um, you know, getting a, a nasty injury, I believe. So, yeah, this, 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 they haven't probably found their rhythm yet, maybe. Um, so they'll be looking to do that, and no better time to do it than the next game away from home to, to get their season up and running. So, you know, like I say, this this league, what you will find is there'll be um, not much difference between the whole teams, and um, there's lots of good players um, and. I'm sure you'll see that on Saturday. Uh, they'll come with uh, abundance of, of good quality. Um, and like I say, mentally we need to be switched on. You can't switch off because the players in this league will punish you for that. So, yeah, we're, we look forward to that challenge. Um, yeah, we're concentrating ourselves and where we can get better from Tuesday night. Yeah, um, and just lastly, um, just to come back into the squad actually, um, looking at the injury list or any players who might be a doubt, is there anyone that's potentially missing for Saturday or? Is it sort of what's to be expected? Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, no, we'll assess everybody tonight really um, and see where we are. Uh, obviously Jake I don't think will be able to play this weekend. Um, but other than that, you know, we'll have a look tonight and see how everybody's recovering really. Um, yeah, there's one or two that were tight. i say it's, it's a big ask for players, Dan, both the Dan's, Dan Bowery and Dan Barker. We'll have to assess them tonight and see how they are. That'd be quite a light one. We'll go through and do a lot of uh, analysis work tonight. Um, so the lads aren't on their feet as much. Um, but yeah, there's still a core of players that need to get some work into them as well. So just try and get that balance right tonight. Cool. Well, best of luck for Saturday, Adam. And uh, yeah, he's hoping to keep that momentum rolling on Saturday. Definitely. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers.